Um, welcome back to the Caleb Marshall channel. Now we are doing a very special video today. Uh, this is my boyfriend, Cameron Moody, if you didn't know. And Hello. you guys sent me a bunch of questions on Snapchat and Twitter, so we are going to do a boyfriend Q&A. This is our first, we've never done this before. So, here we go. First question. <laughs> what? When do you think you and Cameron will get married? When, no, when do you think you and Cameron will get married? Here's the deal. I'm, I told, he, and you know this, I'll get married when I turn 30. Because marriage is very scary to me. Actually, no, I, I lied, I just changed that. Because I, after I'm, when I'm 26, I lose benefits. And you know YouTube, <laughs> YouTube don't give you health insurance. Health insurance. So he has a job now, and so the, mm -hmm. uh, March 19th, in two years when I turn 26, that's when we'll get married. Because mama needs health insurance. What was your first impressions of each other? I don't know, I want to hear yours. My first impression of you was on Tinder. Really? Yeah. That's when I saw you for the first time on Tinder. Oh. And my first impression of him was that he was too young and like immature. His He had like pictures of his like family and like little brothers and sisters on Tinder and I was like... Wait, you're... no. Yeah, you did. No, you I had, had dogs. Your... No, you absolutely had your family pictures of you like leaning up against that thing on Tinder. There's no way. Yeah, you did. So I swiped left. I don't even know if I saw... Because no, I didn't see you on Tinder yet because you just swiped away. And then I saw <laughs> you at the gym and I was like... Oh, he's attractive, and then that was it. I think that was my first impression. <laughs> just just that I was uh, who is the dramatic one in the relationship, and why? Love you both from Colombia. I think this is this is easy. This is so. All right, easy. so on the count of three, we'll answer one, two, three. Me. <laughs> <laughs> like in when we tried to get into Canada without passports, and we had to miss our flight, and I I literally just put my hands on my head. <laughs> and sat down. And Cameron like got his computer out, got like a rental car and everything. I was just oh, like, I literally no. was calling my it mom. Was... I was just like, mom, we can't go to Canada. Mom, we can't go. I was like, oh, that's fine. We can't fly, we'll get there. And then I turn around and Caleb is just like, <sighs> when I get really hyperventilating, holding his head. I, pull, like, I put my hands on my head when I am really overwhelmed. I, do, I can't control it. It's just, and that's... then make the face, make the face. There it is. <laughs> favorite and least favorite thing about each other. Love you both. Oh, least favorite thing is um, probably this. <laughs> it runs his life. And every time we eat or like go on a date, it, it's always like... That's not true. Facetune. Favorite thing is his smile. Oh my gosh. It's so Don't cute. do that. That's it is. See, look at you. Uh, my least favorite thing about him is that when we ever have a disagreement at all, I actually have a few least favorite things. Uh, whenever we have like a disagreement <laughs> at all, he doesn't like talk about it. He just literally puts himself to bed. He puts himself to bed like a baby and like pun it. It's like if he's going to eat dinner, he will, if we're like talking about something that is like we're having a disagreement, he will stop eating dinner and put himself to bed. And it, he knows that it hurts me when he's like not nourished. So he'll just like punish himself to punish me. My favorite thing about him is, I think your, your drive is my favorite thing about you. It's, you are very, very inspiring to me. What are, what's both of your favorite Britney songs? My favorite Britney song is Cinderella. Cinderella. I would have to say... Is it, I don't know. That is your favorite Britney song? Yeah, uh, obviously. I love rock and roll? Yeah. A cover? Do you know what album that's on? Break the Ice. What is one thing each other does that makes you both realize how much you love each other? Um, when we're fighting or whatever... Let me, actually, let me back up. I have, like, I have anxiety and sometimes I get really scared and I'll have panic attacks and get super super anxious and kind of shut down and whether that be like when we're fighting or just in everyday life or when we're busy or whatever anytime Cameron notices that he like stops everything he's doing and attends to me and makes me feel better and tries to get me through it and so knowing that he does that even when we're like fighting or when he I know he doesn't like me is I know that I love him very much um what is the one thing you do What's the question? What the... <laughs> I'm gonna have to change SD cards. I don't know, I think the one thing is just like how big of a heart you have. Because you're always very critical of yourself because of others. Which always isn't like the best trait, but you always try to do the most good. 
<laughs> Does your relationship work because you're, you're so alike or so different? It works because we're different. Cameron's very good at getting things done. I'm very good at getting... Well, you're, Cameron's very good at business and I'm very good at creative, which means I'm more up in the clouds and he's more down to earth. So we, we like kind of balance each other out. So I'm not float and you're not drowning. When you get a TV show, will you allow them to film your wedding? Would Absolutely. you guys... Leave. I'm all about that. Would you guys watch a fitness marshal show? Leave a comment if you want a fitness marshal reality show. Did you have friends that disagreed with you guys dating? Mm -hmm. I had, yeah, I had my mom. Yeah. My mom thought he was dating me because to get famous. <laughs> so and we funny. started dating when I had 100,000 subscribers, so he Yeah, didn't... well, it was like right after we started dating, you got 100,000, because then like we met, and like I hung out with him a few nights, and then found his YouTube channel. And then I texted him, and I was like, oh, hey, you have a channel, like, these are, like, pretty funny videos, like, that's so cool, whatever. And then you hit 100,000 subscribers, mm -hmm. and I bought you a cake. Yep. And I had them right on it. How can you guys hang out all the time without getting tired of each other? I think it's because we're best friends. When you're dating someone, essentially, if you are into marriage and you want to do that whole thing, you're going to spend the rest of your life, like, together cohabitating. You can't spend, like, the majority of your time with the person that you're dating, then like, I, yeah, it's I think not it's really gonna work out because you have to be able to like work with that person all the time. And like working with, and like being with someone yeah. is like the hardest. Yeah, we don't like go to work. Like we work together cause he's my manager. So it's like we're at work all day together and then home all day together. So it's really finding someone who you can cohabitate with and do life with. We have the same friends, like to do the same things. I mean, I'm really happy just, Hanging out with him every day. All right, so Dominique says, can I be your fa the fairy godmother to your children, yes or no? <laughs> Dominique, you can be the fairy godmother to my dog. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> and how did you meet? I was working for a new student orientation at our college that we both went to, both graduated from. Caleb was working in the gym, like doing demos of his like cardio hip hop classes, and then I stop at like the big room that he's in and I see him doing anaconda teaching all mm -hmm. the freshmen anaconda oh my gosh I saw him I spotted him in the crowd because he had his in the crowd his, he had I his, was alone no there I it, you were with a group of people because I remember there were two gays in the group they both had their like gay antennas out and we like connected to it, it was a beep beep and so I knew that Cameron was that we were both homosexuals so I obviously clocked him after like the end of it, like all the students are about to like go to their next thing. I'm in the lobby hanging out and then you come up to me. And it actually was gonna, I wanted to talk to the other guy um, that I saw because I caught two of them and I couldn't find him so I talked to Cameron. <laughs> I'm so happy I did though. I'm that It worked out the way it was supposed to. It I did. I didn't know that. Yeah, I, You've never said I that. I did tell you that. No. Well, now it came no. out. But then I met, we saw him, so I went up and talked to him, and I hadn't talked to a guy in like forever, really. So I was like, hey, like, um, what's up, dude? Uh, you having fun at work? It was so weird. I was like, all right. I, I was like, I have to go. But I read his name tag, and it said Cameron. And so I went home, and I Facebooked Cameron and looked up all the Camerons that went to IU. I found your name, found your last name, followed you on Instagram. I went through his pictures. I liked a recent one. I liked one from the middle. And then I liked a deep photo just to be like, dude, Hello. I've checked. I'm interested. The ball's in your court. So then I like finished working. I got home at like 11.30 and I get on Instagram and I'm like, okay, whatever. I'll like just do this again and just see what happens. So I went and did like the same thing, and like three pictures only, and like went deep. Mm -hmm. Well, same mathematical system. And then the next day, this thirsty little girl messages me on Facebook. In the conversation we joked about, like I didn't come and dance with him, and I was like, oh, I'm sorry, I'm working. And then like the next night he texted me, well, messaged me on Facebook and was like, oh, hey, you didn't come uh, and dance with me today. Uh, sucks, I thought you were gonna be there. And I was like, yeah, no, sorry, it was working, ha ha ha. And then he just like kept going on and I was like, okay. All right, everyone. No, shut up. Thanks for watching this video. Make sure you subscribe to Caleb Marshall. That's it, you said That's it all. That's it. Uh, follow me on Instagram, at Cameron Moody. Get your boy some likes out there. Thank you for watching. Thumbs up, subscribe, and comment you should get what other questions channel. you have for us. We'll answer up. See you guys next time.